This is Red Feather from Grepax. In this credit video, we will be showing you how to create text bubbles. Open Krita, go to File, and scroll down to New Document, and click. Or click the New Document icon. Once the New Document window appears, click Create. Once the Krita Canvas appears, go to the Layers window. Click on the drop-down arrow of the Add Layer function. Then scroll down to the vector layer and click. Then go to the Krita toolbox and click on the ellipse tool. Go to the canvas making a circle with the ellipse tool. Once this is done, go back to the Krita toolbox and click on the edit shape tool. Go back to your canvas, to the ellipse circle. It should now have two square dots, one on each side. Go to the square dot to the right of the circle, grabbing it with the mouse, move it slightly until the ellipse collapses. Now, drag this box downward on the Krita Canvas to where you think you might like it, then release it. Then go to the other square dot, dragging it upward and around on the Krita Canvas until you reach what you think is a good spot, leaving a small gap between the end points of the ellipse. Go back to the Krita toolbox and click on the Select Shape tool. Notice there should now be a box around the ellipse. With this box, you can resize or turn and move the ellipse if need be. Go back to the Krita toolbox and click on the Freehand Path tool. Go to a part of the ellipse gap and dragging your brush, making a tail for the text bubble connecting to the other side of the gap, of the ellipse. Once this is done, go back to the Credit Toolbox Click on the Edit Shape tool. Once again, you should now see square dots in assorted areas of the text bubble tail. Grabbing the square dots, you can make adjustments whether to increase a curve or to make it larger or to adjust the connecting lines to the gap. Once this is done, Go back to the Krita Toolbox, click on the Select Shape tool. Notice, you can make adjustments with this tool if needed. Then, off-click so the box around the tail disappears. Then, in the Krita Toolbox, click on the T icon for text. Assure you have Layer 2 highlighted in the Layers window. Go to the text bubble on the Krita Canvas and draw a box on the inside of the text bubble. This will automatically create a vector layer. Once the Edit Box window appears, highlight the text in the Edit Text window and click Backspace. This will delete the text. Type what you would like to say in the text field. I found it was better to write independent line statements. This allows for easier adjustment and centering 
But, of course, this does depend on the style of statement. Once you are done writing your statement, in the lower right hand corner of the credit edit text window, click save and then close. Then draw another box. Once the text edit window appears, highlight the text backspace and write your second statement in the text field. Then in the text edit box, click save and then close. Then go back to the credit toolbox and click on the select shape tool. Notice there is now a box around my red feather statement. Grab the center of the box, dragging it to the proper position. Once this is done, click on the next line statement, moving it to the proper area. Repeat this on the credit canvas until you find the best position. Now let me show you another way to do this that some may find a bit easier. For this, I will add another vector layer. So to do this, go to the Credit Layers window, click the Add Layers drop-down menu, scroll down to Vector Layer, and click. Then, Shut off the eyes on the necessary layers so as not to see them. Go back to the Krita toolbox and once again click on the ellipse tool. Draw a circle with the ellipse tool on the canvas. Go back to the Krita toolbox, click on the edit shape tool. Then go to the Krita Tools Options. Click on the Convert to Path tool. Now notice there should be a few more square dots on the ellipse circle. Grab one of the square dots on the Krita canvas, moving it around to form the style of text bubble you would like. Go back to the Krita Toolbox, clicking the Select Shape Tool. Go back to the Krita Canvas, grabbing the text bubble, moving it into a proper position, then sizing if needed. Highlight Layer 2, then go back to the Krita Toolbox and click the Text Tool then in the text bubble, draw a box. When the text edit window appears, typing the text you would like. Make any necessary changes to the text like font adjustment and or color adjustments. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to receive notifications your way about newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu one from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.